you like to share a message for newer as well as seasoned animal rights activists, please? Yeah, I wanted to begin by saying something to those who are new to the animal rights movement. And it's important to remember the deep historical roots of animal rights. From the Just from the ancient world, for example, animal rights advocates read like a who's who of cerebral excellence, Ovid and Horace, Porphyry and Pythagoras, Plato and Socrates and Plutarch. When you join the animal rights movement, those of you who are recently active, you reach across the centuries and clasp the hands of the best minds from the ancient world. To my mind, that's always been an inspirational thought, which is why I hope activists new to the animal rights movement will keep that thought in mind. But I also want to say something to those seasoned animal rights activists, noting that my wife and I have been in part of the animal rights movement for over 40 years. For animal rights advocates to achieve our goals, we must first create a critical mass of people who believe in animal rights. How we do this is a divisive issue. Different people think differently. But that we must do this is not a divisive issue. It's plain as the nose on our face. One thing we know, we are not going to create this critical mass if for everyone who joins the animal rights movement, someone else leaves. You can do the math, plus one and minus one equals zero. Do people leave? Yes, they do. In fact, they leave in maddening numbers. It's like a revolving door, new people joining, old people leaving. But what I am saying is this, first obligation for seasoned animal rights advocates is to keep on being active. Without the combination of new people joining and old people staying, achieving our animal rights goals is hopeless. It really is that simple. 